The New York Knicks are coming off their first playoff series win in 13 years. Now they're taking on the Indiana Pacers, the team they split their regular season four-game series with at two games apiece. That is the split. There is... Blue collar, gold swagger, t-shirt being worn by Paul George, and more importantly, there's the man, Patrick Ewing, at Madison Square Garden, taking in the game first quarter. Raymond Felton driving and finding Tyson Chandler for the jam. One of only two field goals on the day for Chandler, but the Knicks up 12-10. Roy Hibbert to DJ Augustine, who was the story in the first half. Ten points at the half on three of three from deep, and Indiana up 22-18. Carmelo Anthony to J.R. Smith outside. Two of six from range on the game. Then the Knicks in transition. Raymond Felton to Jason Kidd, who gives it back to Felton for three. The Knicks ended the quarter on a 9 nothing run. Felton a dozen in the first quarter, 14 at the half. Later, Pablo Prigioni to Kenyon Martin. Nice little flip shot there from Martin. The Knicks up 32-29. Later in the second, Carmelo Anthony working on David West with a little pull-up jump shot. Nice handles there to get open and get the shot down. 10.7 rebounds at the half for Melo and the Knicks up by a pair. Later, Raymond Felton uses the Melo screen and then finds Iman Shumpert for the three. He had 11 points on the night. More second quarter action. Melo with the miss. The Pacers get the board and we go the other way. Lance Stevenson, the story on the boards. He had 13 rebounds. He also drains the J right there. 11 points, so a double-double for Stevenson. Then Paul George outside with the three just before the half. And the Pacers at the half, up by six on the road at MSG. But there is Mello in the third, 58-50. Just look at the tremendous footwork to get the space and get the jam from Carmelo Anthony. Later in the third quarter. You see the Pacers up by six, and Carmelo Anthony commits his fourth personal foul with 7.48 left in the third quarter. He'd sit the rest of the third quarter, and the Pacers taking advantage. Tyson Chandler, nice defense, but he can't do it twice. David West gets the basket and the foul after Roy Hibbert got the rebound. Later, Lance Stevenson, hooping arm for the kid from Coney Island, and check the score. Indiana starting to up, up. A huge advantage there is Stevenson again on the boards. And there is DJ Augustine one more time for three. He finished with 16 points off the bench. Indiana up 81 to 65. Fourth quarter. Here comes Carmelo Anthony working on Tyler Hansbrough. That's a bit of a mismatch. Melo finishes with 27 points. Then Melo again. Strong to the rack, but this time gets called for an offensive foul. That's his fifth foul, but Coach Mike Woodson left him in the game. Roy Hibbert, turnaround, soft jump hook, goes down. He had 14 points, 8 rebounds, and 5 blocks, so a nice performance from Hibbert. Then drive it to the basket. Impossible shot from Paul George. Somehow goes down. He had 19 points in the game. Mello trying to bring his squad back. Knocks down the jumper. Cuts the lead down to 11. Mello again, this time from 3. Cuts the lead down to 8 with over 3 minutes to go. Frank Vogel wants a T.O. The Pacers now up by 8. David West a little push shot. Gets a friendly roll and goes down and that is enough for the Indiana Pacers. They take down the Knicks at MSG and get the home court advantage. They win game 1, 102 to 95.